Charles and Camilla will be joined by Kate and William for the celebration, which will feature a spectacular drone display. I kissed a girl singer Katie, who lives on the same Montecito estate as Harry and Meghan, was announced yesterday along with Italian tenor Andrea Bocelli, who will duet with Welsh opera star Sir Bryn Terville. The concert, taking place the day after the Westminster Abbey service on May 6, will be screened live by the BBC. It will also include soul pianist Alexis French and singer-songwriter Freya Ridings. The Sun has already revealed Lionel Richie had signed up, as well as Take That Scary Barlow, Howard Donald, and Mark Owen. The Beeb is promising even more star names will be announced over the next three weeks, despite claims some of the world's biggest singers had turned them down. Katie, 38, who has a child with her Brit actor fiancé Orlando Bloom, became an ambassador for Charles's British Asian Trust three years ago to help child trafficking victims. Last night, she said she was excited to be performing at the Coronation Concert and to help shine a further light on the Trust's Children's Protection Fund. She and Kent born Orlando bought their place in Montecito months after the Sussexes bought their £12 million mansion there. It is now another great honour to be asked to perform at the Coronation Concert of King Charles III. My joy and excitement is multiplied as I have the chance to duet with my dear friend and superb baritone, Sir Bryn Terville. Artists will be backed by musicians including a 70-piece orchestra, and a house band comprising the massed bands of the Household Division and the Countess of Wessex's String Orchestra. Viewers will also get to see the 300-strong Coronation Choir, which was formed from amateurs by a BBC reality show Sing for the King. The BBC said the centrepiece of the concert will see iconic locations across the United Kingdom lit up using projections, lasers, drone displays and illuminations. It will feature a broad mix of music spanning pop to classical, along with spoken word and dance performances reflecting arts and culture from around the UK and the wider Commonwealth, the British broadcaster said. Lionel Richie, Katy Perry and Take That will star in an eclectic lineup at a concert to celebrate King Charles' coronation next month, billed by organisers as a chance to celebrate a new chapter in Britain's history. The formal coronation ceremony for Charles, who became king on the death of his mother Queen Elizabeth last September, will take place at Westminster Abbey on Saturday May 6. The following day attention turns to Windsor Castle, west of London, where 20,000 members of the public and special guests attend the concert, which will also be broadcast on television and radio. U.S. music star Richie said, to share the stage with the other performers at the Coronation Concert is a once-in-a-lifetime event and it will be an honor and a celebration. The lineup also includes opera star Andrea Bocelli, singer-songwriter Freya Ridings, Welsh bass baritone Bryn Terville, and classical soul composer Alexis French. The list of performers was announced by the British Broadcasting Corporation, BBC, who will produce and broadcast the showcase. In addition, the Coronation Choir, a group created from community choirs and amateur singers from across Britain, will appear alongside the virtual choir, which is made up of singers from across the Commonwealth. The BBC said the centrepiece of the concert will see iconic locations across the United Kingdom lit up using projections, lasers, drone displays and illuminations. It will feature a broad mix of music spanning pop to classical, along with spoken word and dance performances reflecting arts and culture from around the UK and the wider Commonwealth, the British broadcaster said.
master singers from across Britain, will appear alongside the virtual choir, which is made up of singers from across the Commonwealth. The BBC said the centrepiece of the concert will see iconic locations across the United Kingdom lit up using projections, lasers, drone displays and illuminations. It will feature a broad mix of music spanning pop to classical, along with spoken word and dance performances reflecting arts and culture from around the UK and the wider Commonwealth, the British broadcaster said.